anybody that's uh, at a high level in in anything has to be obsessed you have to be obsessed with that thing and if you have the kind of mind that can just focus on one thing whatever it is there's people that could just focus on one thing and they they're just not they're not a regular person in that like they have uh, they have the ability there's people that have ability to just continually do something to get it better and better and better past all the stress past all the, the anxiety, past all the shit that's involved in it. And then with fighting, it's also the danger. Those are the kind of fights I want. I want to be involved in real fights. Right. Because I'm a real martial artist and I want to fight real martial artists who've been around, who, who, who've who been in the game for a minute and uh, are able to stay in the game. For one, that's a big part of it. You have to appreciate that. You could have ups and downs and ups and downs and you're still, he's on top of the game. Yeah. Right now, still after how long he's been in, because I've been through waves of people who've came in and been champion. They've gone right. Oh, before and you see before everybody got there. I've been in there before. I remember when John Jones got here. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, I've been on downhill and uphill and down. I'm still. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I'll probably be here in ten years. Who knows? Nate is a very good boxer. Yeah, make a box. Yeah, Nate Diaz is. <sighs> it frustrates the shit out of me that he's not fighting. Why is that? Because I like to see him. I want to see him get in there. I want to see him make money while he can, too. I mean, you're only going to be able to live this lifestyle. I mean, I know he made a couple million dollars off of the Conor fight, but he hasn't fought in two years. More than that. I think those guys are superstars. I think the UFC doesn't know. I think one of the reasons why Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor was so big is because people love Nate Diaz, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not oh, just yeah. Conor McGregor. No doubt. No like doubt. If Conor McGregor, no disrespect to Eddie Alvarez, but when Conor McGregor fought Eddie Alvarez, the vast majority of the eyes were on Conor McGregor. Yeah. When Conor McGregor fights Nate Diaz, you, you're looking at a lot of people who love Nate Diaz. Yeah. But how do you think that happened? Like, how do you think Nate got that such that star power? You think it's like his attitude? Fuck. He legitimately doesn't give a fuck. He smokes weed all the time. People love it. <laughs> they love the fact that those guys are like that. I want to fight anybody. Is who've been fighting everybody and is still here, still on top of the game. Not some new ass champ that's been here for two two, two years, three years, cause you know what, I already been seeing you. Three years, three years and you're a champion and then, hey, all these champs right now, we'll see where they're at in three years. I bet you I'll still be here, they're gonna be good. Nate rebounds from that and I think people, you look at like the losses, like the Dos Anjos fight and you look at that, the Josh Thompson fight, and you go, hmm, how good is he? You know, I could beat that guy. But then you look at the Michael Johnson fight and you go, ooh, that, that guy's fucking dangerous. Uh, Jim Miller, Cerrone, mm -hmm. exactly. and a lot of these fights where yeah. he was just unbelievable. I'm just happy that the UFC is finally recognizing the, the love and, and support that guy has from the fans, too. Because for whatever reason, they were so high on Conor McGregor and all these other people, they didn't see. One of the reasons why the Conor fight was so big was because of Nate Diaz. Mm -hmm. Nate Diaz is a fucking star. Mm -hmm. when, he, when they put his face on the screen, yeah. For the Pettis fight, I mean, the arena erupted. It was chaos. Yeah.